Hello everyone, I'm the Disaster Recovery Pro. I have 25 years experience in information technology, 15 of which have been in disaster recovery. In this video series, I'll be talking about the concepts and best practices in disaster recovery and related topics. In this video, I'll define and compare two ideas, disaster recovery and business continuity, and we'll also discover the relationship between them. People new to the field often confuse these two ideas, so the goal of this video is going to be to help you understand those differences and understand what role each plays in the business. So let's take a look at the definition of disaster recovery. And here on the slide, we've got kind of a textbook definition of it. And uh, let me read it off to you. Disaster recovery is an organization's plan for regaining access and functionality to its information technology infrastructure after a disruptive event, such as a natural disaster or a human event like a cyber attack. It's the contingency plan an organization will execute to ensure that the technology that supports its critical business functions can either be restored or still be performed in case of a disruption. So what this means is in the old days, if everything was centered in one heterogeneous data center, if your data center got taken offline somehow, what would you do to restore that technology stack and make sure that you can still process user transactions and uh, keep your business running? And what we're talking about here is your technology stack strictly, the things that support the applications that support your business functions. That's everything from your storage technology, your network technology, your file shares, your services like your Active Directory that does user authentication, the servers that run your software, the software on those services, and how they all tie together as application systems. Now, in contrast, let's take a look at the textbook definition of business continuity. So business continuity is the advanced planning and preparation undertaken to ensure that an organization will have the capability to operate its critical business functions during emergency events. While disaster recovery is a major component, business continuity takes a broader view of the business as a whole. Business continuity covers contingencies beyond technical assets and must consider the people and processes in addition to technology. So what I mean by this is disaster recovery really just covers the technology stack, your business applications that support your business functions. Business continuity is all about making sure that those business functions are still able to do their job. So you're really more concerned about having the people and the processes in place to support your business in event of a disaster or some other traumatic event. Um, it's how you keep the business running, not just the technology that supports the business. This diagram kind of illustrates that point. Here we see the technology stack. We start at the bottom with our facilities. That's our actual data center power cooling, the infrastructure that's the network storage and the actual servers on top of that, then their operating system level, software, databases, uh, infrastructure services, say like Active Directory would be kind of in this bucket too. Then our application layer, which is the actual business applications that your user uses. And that's where disaster recovery picks up. Now, if we look, business continuity takes that one level higher. It takes a broader view, like we said before. And it looks at the business functions. How do the business processes work? And uh, while the technology stack is a very important piece of that, it's not the whole picture. Disaster recovery covers the application level. Business continuity covers how you use those applications and how you string them together and how your business works. It may even go as far as talking about financials and things like how do we survive if a uh, key vendor goes offline, which has nothing to do with our technology stack directly. And so earlier we talked about people, process, and technology. These three components basically are what comprise every business function you can think of in the business world. You'll have technology supporting it, but it's people and processes that use that technology to make business happen. So in this diagram, we see disaster recovery really focuses on technology. People and processes are still involved because you have to support and run that technology. And in the case of DR, you'd have to recover that technology, but the focus is really on the technology stack. By contrast, when we look at business continuity, it places pretty much equal emphasis on people, process, and technology. I would actually argue that people and process are probably the more important part in this stack uh, since technology is usually covered by disaster recovery. Again, disaster recovery works as part of a business continuity plan. It's not a replacement for a business continuity plan.
So thanks for watching. If you found this topic interesting and you want to learn more about disaster recovery and business continuity, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video with others. This is a disaster recovery pro. Just want to let you know that you should hope for the best and plan for the worst. Thanks a lot.